Ever wondered what causes the ground beneath us to shake violently? What if we told you that it's not just the Earth throwing a tantrum, but a fascinating scientific process? An earthquake is essentially the Earth's way of releasing pent-up energy. This energy builds up in the Earth's lithosphere, the rigid outer part of our planet, and when it's finally released, we feel it as an earthquake. But what causes this buildup of energy in the first place? Well, there are a few culprits. Geological faults, or cracks in the Earth's crust, are a major one. These faults can shift, causing the energy to be released. Volcanic activity is another factor. When a volcano erupts, it can trigger an earthquake. Landslides and mine blasts can also cause this energy release as they disrupt the Earth's structure. Even nuclear tests with their massive explosions can trigger an earthquake by releasing a huge amount of energy into the Earth's crust. So an earthquake is not just the Earth shaking, but a release of pent-up energy from deep within the Earth's layers. Now that we know what triggers an earthquake, let's delve into the process that follows. Picture this. Deep within the Earth's lithosphere, a sudden release of energy occurs. This energy is primarily a result of geological faults, but it can also be triggered by volcanic activity, landslides, mine blasts, or even nuclear tests. This sudden release of energy marks the beginning of an earthquake. Next, this energy is transformed into seismic waves. These waves radiate from the epicenter, traveling through the Earth's crust. They're like ripples in a pond when you toss a stone, except these ripples are moving through solid rock. These seismic waves are the culprits behind the shaking we feel during an earthquake. As they move, they cause the Earth's surface to quake and tremble, sometimes with such intensity that it can damage infrastructure, cause landslides and even trigger tsunamis. The magnitude or the size and the type of an earthquake are determined by the kind of fault involved. Let's take a moment to talk about faults. They are fractures in the Earth's crust where blocks of rock have moved past each other. These can be categorized as normal, reverse, or strike-slip faults. A normal fault occurs when the rock above the fault moves down. A reverse fault, on the other hand, happens when the rock above the fault moves up. Lastly, a strike-slip fault occurs when rocks slide past each other horizontally. The type of fault involved in an earthquake determines the type and magnitude of the quake. For instance, thrust faults are often associated with the most powerful earthquakes. So, from the initial release of energy deep within the Earth's lithosphere to the creation of seismic waves and the shaking of the Earth's surface, the process of an earthquake is a fascinating yet fearsome demonstration of our planet's dynamic nature. And that, in a nutshell, is the process that unfolds when an earthquake hits. The shaking stops, the dust settles, but the effects of an earthquake can linger for a while. With the ground's violent shudder ceasing, we are left in the wake of its might. Buildings crumble, roads fracture, and the infrastructure that once stood strong may now be a mere shadow of its former self. The loss of life can be devastating, with some earthquakes going down in history as the deadliest. Seismic activity refers to the frequency, type, and size of earthquakes experienced over a period of time. It paints a picture of an area's geological story, a testament to the ceaseless shifting of our planet's crust. Some regions are more prone to earthquakes due to their geological characteristics, bearing the brunt of nature's force more frequently and intensely. In the aftermath, we find resilience and recovery. Communities come together, rebuilding not just their homes, but their lives. Scientists and geologists study the event, learning more about the Earth's complex systems, providing us with invaluable knowledge to better prepare for future quakes. Even though the shaking only lasts a few moments, the effects of an earthquake can be felt long after. Before we wrap up, here's a quick recap of what we've learned about earthquakes. Earthquakes are caused by a sudden release of energy in the lithosphere, which sends seismic waves shaking through the Earth's surface. The process of an earthquake involves a buildup of strain, the rupture of a fault, and the release of energy in the form of seismic waves. These quakes can trigger landslides, tsunamis, and cause significant damage to infrastructure and loss of life. The aftermath of an earthquake can be devastating, but it also demonstrates the incredible power of our planet. Remember, uh, uh, understanding earthquakes is not just about being aware of the risks, but also appreciating the incredible power of our planet.